And now sports with Chris Dewar from the Little Jess Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram Sports Desk. An attempted half step back towards normalcy today in Rushville, Illinois with the opening of the spring sports season, but not without some still very heavy hearts. Rushville industry softball, very promising season ahead, hosting Grigsville Perry for the opener. Very poignant scene coming into the game today with a moment of silence for the five victims of that car crash earlier this week. And then we got some Italy Ford in this one. And she is just poised for a very dominating season in the circle. She looked at early on in the first inning. Not one, but two very nasty strikeouts to get out of any kind of jam with a runner aboard after a walk in this one. And then in the bottom of the first, some run support comes right here, courtesy of Elliot Hood with two on the chopper out to right field, plates a pair, it's two to nothing. And the Rockets would add one more on a booted grounder coming up right here. Credit Elliot Hood with some great base running, resourceful and beating the tag to get in at that point, extends the lead out to three to nothing more to come offensively. Italy Ford helping her own cause with a hard smash through third base. And then check out the freshman, Devin Vogler, just missing a home run. She'd hit her first varsity dinger later in this game. She had a monster day today with five RBIs and that home run. 13 to nothing, Rushville Industry gets the win. In other softball on the day, we've got McComb dropping a 24 spot on Brown County in Mount Sterling for the victory there. And Triopia getting a monster day from Addison Roan at the plate, including a home run to take out Havana. 13 to nine was your final as Triopia gets that win. Baseball today, Central taking on Brown County. Brown County down in this one, six to five in the top of the fifth. Here comes Jack Buss though, trying to level the score in this one. The RBI single is a good one. Back up the middle. We're tied at six apiece, but we're we're not done. We're being the Hornets in this particular case. Trey Fullerton going to pound one to center field and leg this into a triple, a two-run triple, as his team would extend out in this one to an 8-6 to six lead in this one. Good stuff right there for that fella. Connor Griffin, though, going to get out of the jam right here, extricating himself with a bit of pitching brilliance. Bottom of the sixth, Central about to have its revenge, and it starts with Cole Peterson doing his thing at the plate. The single is good. He would score on a balk from third base, and yeah, he had a little bit of uh, relish to add to the back end of that. Then Mason Miller going to do his thing. A two-run home run to left. That absolute bomb is the difference and starts off a six-run inning for his team. Bryden Allison going to add to it as well just a bit later in this one with an RBI double. 13-8, Central rallies back to get the victory on the day. Good win for the Central Panthers in comeback fashion. And this one, in other baseball today, Jacksonville shuts out McComb in the home opener, or excuse me, the road opener for the Bombers. 7-0, your final there. Illini West would jump all over Western Pleasant Hill. 18-0, and Pittsfield with a great pitching performance today from Brennan Tomhave to end up getting the victory on the road at Greenfield Northwestern. And since we're on the subject, 23 more baseball knocks are all that now separate Ashton Ertz from becoming Payson Seymour's all-time hits king. But before he begins that quest, he got a little college commitment business out of the way, inking with Harper College in Palatine. Uh, it's a very special moment for me. Uh, me and my family have been really working hard and uh, staying focused on me getting to the next level. Um, for me and my dad, uh, this has been my entire life. Um, I'm just really, 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 really excited to go play for Harper. It's a great fit for me due to the fact that uh, there's a brand new coach. He just got off of playing D1 baseball uh, at Butler University. Um, he's, it's going to be a young team, and I'm just ready for the next step. I feel like I can hit the ball a mile, man. I feel like I can just hit the ball like crazy. Um, for defense, I, I still have a lot of things to work on. Uh, I'm not perfect on batting nor fielding. Um, I'm just working my craft every single day, and that's what makes them the best out there. I'm going to be studying for sports broadcasting at Harper. Uh, what got you interested in sports broadcasting? Chris Dewar. Chris Dewar really got me into it. Uh, just seeing the excitement and being able to travel to like local games and stuff has really made me like really be intrigued into doing it. God bless you, Ashton, and God help you for that one. I'm sorry, my friend, but congratulations. Also on the signing front today, West Central Jump Specialist Connor Turner found himself a perfect educational outlet as well as a chance to continue his track and field career at Clark University in Iowa.
I mean, it's a pretty big deal. I'm one of the first people in my family to go to college, so I, yeah, it's a pretty big deal to me. It was pretty much like the physical therapy program for me. It meant a lot, just them having it, so. Originally, I wanted to enlist in the military, but then I couldn't do that, so I was looking into other options, and physical therapy just seemed like a good fit for me. Long jump, triple jump, really just whatever they have me do. So just be a team player, do whatever they need me to do. Just be the best athlete I can for my team, score as many points as I can, do whatever I really need to do for the team. His marks kind of speak for themselves. Um, just that's someone where he's going to make a direct impact on the program. Um, and just sitting down and talking with him, he seems like a great fit for the school. He wants to be, uh, he's going into pre-PT. So, you know, that's kind of our bread and butter here at Clark. So. Congratulations to those two fine gentlemen. Good stuff from them. Some college action to pass along. Culver Stockton on the road at Columbia College swept today on the softball diamond. And Western Illinois with a big win today over St. Louis. Good for them. Final count that one was 12 to 7.